Okay, greetings everyone. This is First Centurion 753 with a another episode of the game Imperialism. This is uh, 1997. I found out when this game came out. Still pretty good today. Uh, diplomatic overview, real quick. Uh, as far as we are, Centurion. We are the country nation of Centurion. We have three trade consulates with minor powers and of course embassies with all the major powers um, there's more of a diplomatic map for us and we are competing with other nations for influence over these powers right now and because I am on the hard level I think I'm having a, a difficult time uh, competing with these guys right now even though I have some of the best uh, trading subsidies 25% for this country right here Still having a hard time maintaining, and our industry has fallen to poor. Mmm, things are rough with this one. Uh, playing on a normal level or an easier level, things would not be going. We would probably be dominating uh, the world, but I think during the trade situation we are at a disadvantage because I looked at the books and it seemed like we should have had uh, the trade offers, but I think because of the, I'm I don't know for sure, but I think I'm guessing because of the level of the game that we're getting, we're hurting as far as. Uh, trade offers, but we'll see what we can do here. Workforce is uh, not as heterogeneous as I'd like. I need to get some more uh, expert workers here and uh, sort of struggling to develop the industry, mainly because early in the game I can't bring in a lot of trade. If you can bring in a lot of trade early in the game, that really is what helps you develop your industries, but because uh, I'm hurting with that, I think that's why I'm not doing as well as I normally would do. And I think I credit that to the fact that uh, we're playing as uh, uh, where do I want to put this one? I can put that one right there. I credit that to the fact that we are playing uh, on the hard level. I'm thinking about going this route because I want the. Uh, I was gonna go this way, out to sea, but I think I need to develop the interior more because I need more lumber. So we're gonna go down this way. And you're going to stay put for now. We're going to save our money. The other option, and I think maybe people will like this because uh, people are asking about uh, what combat combat is like. So I might just invade one of these minor countries early on. This one right here. This would extend the border with Zim. And you can zoom out, by the way. If I invaded this country here, capture the capital. Once you capture the capital, the country is done. Um, it all becomes like rebel territory, and you can just move in after that. So... Um, that would put me at an advantage because it would actually get me closer to Zim just in case war broke out with Zim. And that reminds me, I do want to go ahead and offer alliances with some of these major powers. Actually, you know what? I want to hold out for that. Let's see what major powers end up allying with each other. Right now, there are no alliances between major powers. And I've had a games playing on this level where they've all ganged up against you and that's just like the worst thing ever. And you die. I don't know. <laughs> it's bad. Anyways, let's move the turn here. Alright, getting some offers. I'm going to accept all the offers I possibly can. Ooh. And you know what I should do? I'm getting a lot of offers. Wow. Oh, man. And now it tells you the ones you missed. I need to expand my merchant marine. And we did get a farmer. Good. Alright, it is time for merchant marine expansion. And we're going to build this guy right into there. I'll move him. Oh, no. Okay, that didn't cost me too much. You need to start going right there and get that cotton coming in. Alright, that infrastructure development did not cost me too much. We are building a mine. We're developing cotton plantations because we have the cotton gin. And the railroad is moving down right here. And I'm going to get a depot. That should give me enough expansion. Now, that means I need to expand my transport capacity as well as my... Uh, Yuck, what's going on here? Paper? Except I don't need any more paper. Any more workers? Wow, look at this. Disaster has occurred on my part. I've mismanaged this. Okay. I need more finished goods. I need so much. I need so many things here. Now I have stuff. Like if I had workforce, I could be employing them here. I could, and I, I'm going to need to expand the lumber mill and the textile mill, which will improve my rating. But I need to continue to make money, 
so this is an issue. Yuck. I definitely got off paper, that's good. I have to keep this going. And I need to get lumber. So basically, can't do anything. I need more lumber. I don't have enough workers. Whew, this is a tough situation. One scenario could be to move some of these guys back in, but I definitely have a lot of people working out in the fields more than I normally do. I think that's one of the reasons why I'm lacking my home labor. All right, we're not going to get as much stuff here. Good. Oh, do I want to buy from them? I want to buy iron from this guy. He's going to offer me. Okay. And I don't think I'm going to get a lot of the other big offers on iron. So, yeah, I can buy that and that. Oh, there's another iron offer. Brilliant. That worked out pretty well. I got a lot of resources there. We're going to hold off on building the rail depot right now because we don't have any money. And we'll be getting more cotton soon. My biggest thing right now is I need another lumber. I don't need more steel, so let's back him off of steel. Keep the clothing coming in. And I need another lumber, which I'll get next turn, which will give me the furniture, which will be enough for another one of these. And then I'm going to need paper to try to make some expert workers. Whew. You know what might be better? If I make this paper, and next turn I just cut back on lumber mill production and turn both of these untrained workers into trained workers. There are probably people out there that are like mathematical geniuses that are so much better at this game than I am, but I am just one of these, you know, shoot from the hip, off the cuff, guessers at mathematical statistics, but I saw somebody out there, I think math expert or something like that, probably has this figured out a lot more than I do, but that's not saying don't watch my channel. Uh, you can watch mine too. I haven't seen his videos, so I don't really know. Um, anyways, here we are, and nothing is getting better as far as diplomacy is concerned. Here we go. Alright, I will buy... Look at all that. Look at that. The Ooh, we're getting more money. We made a good sale. I want iron. And there's no iron being offered me. So I will buy all this timber. I'll buy the coal. The coal. And there's iron. Bird history published. I saw that. Okay. Let's see if my strategy works. Now I have two paper. We're going to go into the trade school. And we are going to cheaply make two untrained, work untrained workers which will increase my labor pool and I still have two right here we've got a lot of resources but not a lot of that look at that well let's see what's the most profitable hardware is the most profitable so let's take two of these guys and make some hardware so next turn we have something to sell and maybe it'll be pretty profitable. But we have a lot of resources in the steel industry. So if we get labor, we can start pumping out some of that. Got a little bit of surplus of timber there as well. And there should be... Oh, there's only one cotton coming in. or Yeah, one cotton. There should be two cotton coming in soon. We have an extra cotton. One coming in. I need more labor. I definitely need a much bigger labor force. And more merchant land. Aha! There we go. Now we have influence in Kessel. And we are their favorite trading nation. And they're going to be a colony, I think. I'm excited about that. Okay. Okay. Wow! They want to offer us a lot of timber. I don't want all that timber, but I do want to make at least one timber buy. Purchase is recommended, and we need it for diplomatic purposes as far as the consulate. Uh, I should have bought more timber. 
But we made a decent sale on clothing. Okay. Not there yet. But we did develop our cotton plantations. And it is time to expand our transport ledger. And we'll be bringing in enough cotton each turn to turn out one piece of fabric. If we have the labor, which we don't have right now. Okay, so I have six extra labor. I think it's time to turn out definitely one lumber. Another piece of paper could give me an expert worker. Expert workers are good. Definitely want lumber. One lumber will give me furniture on the next turn. I can't do anything else. I need steel. Yeah. Lumber and steel, because we need that to expand our industries. Ooh, so many things I need right now. Not enough to offer. We can make sales, though. Are we producing... No, we're not producing any clothing, so let me actually hold back on that. We'll sell that. I'm going to save the clothing for when I have a... Nobody else is trading with Manex. That's pretty good. And this is the other one, and Deneb is beating us there, I think. Oh, yeah, they are, definitely. That's their only... Oh, look at that. They're forming closer allegiance with Zim. Look at this axis of power that's forming here. I don't like that at all. I need a counterbalance. Maybe uh, Paragon or Udun. Kem and Devron are forming, so I should get together with one of these guys, probably, or both of them. Ooh, tough decisions. Okay. If one of them offers me an alliance, I think I'll take it. But I'm not seeing one yet. Good work here. How's our... Uh... Ooh, we need more grain. Let's go on that, back to that map. Is there any place I can make grain? No, we can't make additional grain anywhere. Additional fruit. Not worth it right now. And I need 2,000 for this, but look how many resources it was to bring in. That would be such a good investment. But I don't have the capacity. I love this game. Okay. Moving on. Oh man, should I sell them both? I should. Because we got two turns at least until we're going to have furniture. I'm going to sell them both. We got one textile mill coming in here. All right, three thousand. We made a nice big sale. Buy, 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 and we're still looking like we have enough. Prospector, check out those hills. I think I have enough. This could bring in so many resources. Let's do it. Oh boy. Oh boy, I need a lot more. What was that? Seven different things could be coming in resource wise, so I need six more transport capacity slots. I've got enough for two, unless I want to expand my industrial capacity. So, transport capacity or industrial capacity? That is a difficult decision, right? Got a lot of coal build up there. Two steel. We've got nothing else to sell. I don't even have any workers. I don't have to do anything yet. But we are going to end up taking one turn without any sales, I think. This isn't coming around for nine months, so that's three turns. So we got a while for that. So, confirm that. Diplomacy. How are things looking diplomatically? Oh, man. I gotta align with somebody. Everybody is closely aligned, except for me. So, that means that I might go ahead and make an offer. I was gonna put it out there to see who aligns with me. 
I might just align with everybody. I've never tried that before. That's weird. But if I get somebody, this is not very, you know, calculated at all. This is just putting myself out there. Here we go. What can I possibly buy? I don't have any enough money to buy anything. What is my... We go back to the deal book. I can find out my credit limit so I can go 933 under, which gives me about 16, 1700 total right there. Two good sales. Clothing, good sale to 12... Oh, that was the price, but that's what they sold it at, so it was discounted. But Zazi, we had a full sale of 1300 That was pretty good. Okay. Don't have any money. We'll buy from Kessel. I'll buy one from this one. And that saves us a little bit. Centurions Alliance building flounders. At this point, we didn't get any allies. But we found coal. I got a lot of coal. And Sintite on the coal. Bringing in 200. Still get 200 gold per turn, which is good. And I need to increase my labor supply. That's a big push to increase labor supply. So, we got enough steel. We're going to reduce that for now. And let's get clothing so we can increase that labor supply. Highly advised to increase the labor supply at this point. Because we just don't have enough. I am falling behind here. And I'm wondering if I should bring one of these guys in. I don't know. I don't want to... Because I already invested so much in these laborers, but I can't do anything with them. These outside skill laborers, but I can't do anything with them because I don't have the finances. So I've definitely dug myself into a bit of a hole here. I have no allies, and I'm moving slowly in on one uh, colony. But I think my internal transport is pretty solid. Two wool from Kessel. I'll buy one. Ah, oh, one. No, I deny that. Iron is needed. I don't have any money. But we can go under. I reject that. Ah, oh, more iron. This is the best time to get iron. At 123. Oh man. Get at least one. Ah, one negative. We are now in the negative. Such a difficult situation I'm in here. Devron has a lumber mill industry with capacity more than double ours. Okay, it is time to. Oh, we don't have a thousand dollars. Increase this capacity here. We are hurting. I am in a very difficult situation. Very bad situation. I'm not producing anything. All the oh, there we go. But we are aligning. We are starting to align with another minor power, though. So we're making headway there. All right. It is time to buy nothing. Only for diplomatic reasons am I going to buy things. Only from my trade consulate countries like that one not that one that one that one negative 500 people are growing taller I saw that and now we can bring in a lot of capacity here now we're bringing in whoo and since we have surpluses actually in this uh, in the food department I can probably make room for this other stuff. And I think I can probably take coal off the table. It is now time, however, to definitely sell this stuff. I didn't even realize I was do producing uh, hardware that turn.
making furniture and making clothing. That'll be next turn for another additional worker. And this turn, we're going to make one of those workers a skilled laborer. That'll bring us greater labor capacity next turn. Or a trained worker. Greater labor capacity, and I can build one more thing this turn. And I think it should be steel. I don't have enough timber here. I could bring in more of this, though. And that will give me two fabrics on the next turn, which will give me enough for clothing for the next turn. Alright, so we're starting to come along. Two good sales here. I'm going to bid on coal still just to get trade with uh, Kessel going. Ooh, and we got 12th now. Are they our favorite? No. We are competing for 12th. I need allies. Somebody. Oh, no. Somebody ally with me. Anybody. I really desperately need allies at this point. I think our capacity is looking good. We're bringing in four timber. That's enough to run. That will be enough to run the whole timber. We really got to just bring in, bring up the labor supplier at this point. That's the biggest concern. Because our internal capacity is looking good. I got to sell. I got to make some sales here. Prices are up. That looks fantastic. What year is it? 18, summer of 1819. I think we still got time before things break down politically. Still coming after that uh, Congress of Vienna and the end of the Napoleonic Age, there's a period of peace there, supposedly, which is accurate, it's according to history. history. Of course, this isn't Europe, this is a fictional country, but it is that time period. Buy. I want to buy both of them. Ooh, we made two good sales. Nice. I'm going to buy the whole 12th market so that uh, Deneb cannot get in on that. Monopolize. Ah, Alliance building flounders again. No good. And I saw something that said... Uh, this, this, ooh, these are still looking pretty good. But they're looking really good. That's a shame. I need additional paper to be to make expert workers. And I got money. So... More paper. I have nothing to sell though now. We could definitely get one of those in. And a little bit of steel. That's a good move. Lumber industry. This needs to expand for sure. Two steel and two lumber needed to expand. I don't think I need paper. I think I need lumber. And I don't think I need this. I think I need steel. Yeah. That'll help me expand the lumber mill. And then if I can buy some timber on the market, then maybe I can uh, get paper and lumber going at the same time and continue the furniture industry. Six trained workers is all I have right now. I need a much bigger labor supply. Nothing to sell. Relations are improving. And we almost have the whole thing scouted out as far as prospect prospecting is concerned. I don't want to spend any money on developing anything that I'm nowhere near gaining access to. Buy. Reject. Buy. Buy it all. What negative nine ten. More coal. I have a lot of coal in this game. More coal than I've ever seen, really. In a single country, I think. Okay. Let's take a look at this. Idea. There we go. No, oh, no. Nope. Uh, bad idea. We're going to sell the clothing. Yeah, at this point, I'm not producing any finished goods. But I really want to expand this lower now. And I think I want to expand my transport capacity. 
No, I don't care that much about that. Got enough steel, that's maxed out. You definitely expand steel. I kinda wanna save that. But, not right now. Let's get more labor capacity for next turn. And. I wanna hold on to the steel and the lumber. Well, you know what I could do? This could get expanded. Which one do I want to expand? I could expand one of these. But I really don't have enough for any of them. They're making two. Tough decision to be made here. A lot of decisions. A lot of logistical decisions to be made in this game early on. And they make or break you. And I think I'm gonna hold off this decision until next turn almost. Until next episode, I mean. Excuse me. Oh boy. Yeah. So we got at least three countries here. I gotta get up to uh I really gotta try to get up to five thousand so I can build an embassy in some of these countries. But I think I'm making headway here on three in relationships with three different minor powers. So my military strength is very weak. Let's go get an overview before I end this episode here. Advice. Yeah, you can get advice from different people. Go get the overview. Status. Okay, we are at the bottom. Uh, I've been there before, though, and I've won. Interior strength is very weak. Diplomatic strength is weak. Military strength is medium. Merchant marine is very weak. i got to get merchant marine up. World exports looks good, though. We're third in world exports. Industry is weak. Labor is very weak. But internal transport, that's where we shine. We're the top. Okay, this is my situation. Uh, thanks for watching. This game's a lot of fun. You can go a lot of different directions a lot of times. I've gone the direction of internal transport. Uh, for this episode, for this series, and we'll see if this burns me later on. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, feel free to uh, comment down below, like the video if you did, and subscribe to the channel. Or you can also follow me on Twitch or support me on Patreon. All that's, Those are all options. Uh, Twitch and Patreon links are down in the description. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.